my now husband, Brett. It has been over five years since we met on our first date. And in those five years, we've seen the ruins of Mexico City, hiked the peaks of the Dolomites, skied the powders of the Rockies, listened to late night jazz in New Orleans, and stayed up well past our bedtime on New Year's Eve in New York City. Our life has always been an adventure, and there is no one else I want by, by my side for the adventures to come. Sloan, as I wrote my vows, which admittedly was done today, it was actually pretty easy, and the reason is you. When someone is as amazing as you are, the number of things I could say is endless. As much as I could talk about your physical beauty, it's not what really matters, nor what I love about you. Albeit, I can admit I outkicked my coverage, which is saying something, coming from myself, a model. <laughs> Please see Raise the Bar for reference. Your beauty, your beauty inside is what really matters. The reality of life is that many days are without grand experiences. It is more about the sweatpants after work, the obsessive orange theory classes, watching 15 movie trailers on a Friday night but committing to none. <laughs> You are incredibly kind, giving, and thoughtful, and always thinking of others. And let's not forget your drive. Having gone through countless years of education, ultimately becoming an extremely successful cardiologist, you're always striving to get better and be the best. It's truly inspiring to be around, and you're constantly motivating me. It is our home-cooked meals and our air fryer my Saturday morning cleaning sprees, or snuggles with Silas on the couch. These are the experiences that define us. Brad, I could do everything or nothing with you by my side. We have come together to witness the joining of these two lives. For them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, fell in love, and are finalizing their commitment to each other today in front of their most cherished family and friends with this wedding. I love how we always have fun together and truly enjoy each other's company. But it's not the fun events, world travel, trying new restaurants, and nights out I love about you most. As those are always fun. But honestly, it's our normal days together, whether it be Monday night in or Saturday afternoon just hanging out and being together with Silas, of course. Those are the days I love the most and cherish. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, nights in with Silas, travel, or even carrying you on my shoulders if you've had a little bit too much to drink, remember? <laughs> I am the luckiest guy in the whole world, and the best way I can describe you is irreplaceable. I will end with our saying we love the best, which is so fitting, and we stay true to. I do me, you do you, and we do us. Credit to Matt Bastine and the crowd. I love you so much, babe. You are the best man I have ever met. Your devotion to me, to family, and to your friends is admirable. You're always thinking of others. And you've made it your life goal to make my life easier. You make my life happier. I love your zest for life, your laid back personality, and even your humor. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Remember? What I can give you in exchange for all that you give to me is my undying love, my respect, my support, and my future. 
I promise to be the best wife for you and for us. And I love that for the rest of my life, you are my person. I will always do me. And you should always do you. <laughs> and we will always do us. <laughs> Brad and Sloan, you have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises you've made today. It is with these in mind that I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the happy couple, Brad and Sloan. I'm very, very happy that my sister is getting married to Brad because he's such a good man. And he, I know that he's gonna treat her right and make her happy, which is all I care about. Help me work for Mr. Brad Sloan, I so badly wish that you, your family, and your friends would have met my aunt. You two would have been the best of friends. Through heartache and tragedy, tragedy, I try to find the silver lining. I believe in my heart that once Nancy entered the heavenly gates, she searched the world to find the perfect match and soulmates for her sons. Sloan, there's no doubt that you are the perfect match, the soulmate for Brad. <laughs>